You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Big Bank and DJ Scream bring you Big Facts. Hey, man, it's all the way up. Ladies and gentlemen. That merch in. Yes. Yeah, that's right. www.bigfactspod.com. Yeah. With the real ones one time. Y'all come get y'all some of this merch, man. Bigfactspod.com. Let's get it. Get that merch right now. Shop with us. It's all the way up. Big Fat Merch. It's going down. Visit the new website today. www.bigfactspod.com. Visit now. Another episode of Big Facts is the voice of DJ Screen right here. My partner, Big Bank, is here. How you feeling? How you feeling, my brother? Bless. Yeah. Bless. Bless. Shouts to Jay. She up in here. Y'all look hey, like uh, twins with y'all uh, boys in the hood, menace to society, shirts on. I, I ain't get the memo. What's going on? Nigga trying to dress like me. That's all that is. Oh, okay. Bank trying to be like Jay. Yeah, old dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, for, first off, I just want to I, I want to thank everybody, man. You know, what I'm saying because I'm a grateful person for fucking with us. Because a lot of people missed us in our absence, like sure a lot, did. like not even not not even on no bullshit. Like we're part of their workout regimen, we're part of their motivation, and they need the quotes and they felt yeah, lost. Were, like and they, running up I on me in the street. On your, on your, on, why are you working out though? You can listen to it. Oh, yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, podcast, yeah. yeah. I always watch YouTube. Yeah, you can watch YouTube on your phone. You can do that, too. You can set it up. Watching it work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can set it up on the treadmill or something. You know what I'm saying? I said, like, walking the track or some shit. You can do that, too. I do it. I can't look down when I'm walking. I have to look straight ahead when I'm walking. (laughs) (laughs) But, look, I I, I salute y'all fucking with us, and we won't leave y'all again, right? Unless. That was on you, screen. That was on you. Don't put it on me. <laughs> the nigga that didn't post for sixty days and sixty nights. What the hell am I posting about? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the, the, the goddamn company was down. The company was down. <laughs> Shit show was down. Goddamn big facts were down. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel you. But um, okay, let's talk about let's talk about love. All right, now we're gonna get into we a quote. About love last time. No, well, this is a little different because it's something you posted. What? You posted. That friends is too expensive, so we buy guns instead. Everybody oh, start hearing me. What Bank talking about? Because when Bank yeah. posts, it's like a holiday. Like, niggas start. Bank just posted, bro. It's that Man, big. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not capping. Nah. Do people hit you when I'm Bank right. posts? I'm yes. Right. Yeah. As soon as you post, niggas hit me. Shit. I mean, what it say is what it is. Like, we don't pay for friends or family. You know what I'm saying? That being said, like, if you got to always give a motherfucker something for them to continues to be happy or be loyal to you or be love you mm. or whatever, then that's a dead relationship. Mm. But you know that's what's going on. Yeah. That's the way of life. Like niggas is buying fake friends, niggas is buying fake love. But at the end of the day, all of that is gonna run out because a fake friend, fake family member, fake whoever can smell a diminishing bankroll. Oh for sure. <laughs> Oh, for sure. <laughs> no, for sure. A for diminishing bankroll. A dimin- yeah. No, they oh, smell so it. Oh, so you say that money get funny, they go to acting funny. They, Man, get the, they, are, they go to get going. They they try kill. to find a new sponsor. Yeah. They already on the market. Who who, who got the bad now? They on the hunt. Yeah. Like it, like it, one it. of these hoes, like for real. That shit crazy, man. Oh, with no feelings, like rolling their eyes at you when they see you now. Yeah, like a bitch. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but see, you gotta understand, we the minority. See, we care about shit like that. But a lot of people don't give a fuck if all their friends because fake. a lot of people have <clears throat> never experienced or felt or had real genuine love. You can't say that niggas could have real genuine love and still be so fake in today's knowing that they fake as fuck is like this nigga can't love me. Or when this nigga do find out who I am, he gonna eventually say it or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like. Yeah. It's like this. It's just like this. A nigga faking it the whole time, but he faking it with you. If a nigga faking it the whole time, he know he faking it. You get what I'm saying? So he, it's a, it's a complex. Like this nigga, have you found out today? Mm. You know I'm faking. Oh yet? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he okay. always gonna have a resentment towards you anyway, mm. cause knowing one day you gonna it's gonna come out. I ain't gonna be able to hold it. Mm. Like you said, I can't goddamn. The nigga, nigga bankroll diminish. <laughs> niggas don't even love you no more. You go your head to jail. Like, yeah. it's crazy how when niggas go to jail, they only have goddamn a couple of niggas and they mama and they baby mama and sisters and shit. Mm-hmm. That's that's real. But life before shit. that day, 100 like, no plus. Oh, your homies in jail. Like, yeah. 
all that shit go away. Niggas be done, like, forgot you. Niggas will get right out and get Completely. right back with these niggas. Out of sight, out of mind. Whole different. They'll be they'll be wearing one t shirt. The nigga, the head get locked up, and they'll have another t shirt on the or, next. Or week. if you fucked up, like you said, if your nigga don't, if you don't, you don't hit on some hard times or something. Mm. Just just think of, just make up in your head like fuck that. I'm finna see who I can call on. Just make up some shit and just call a couple people. You mm. can even tell them like I'm just bullshit and see how many people you can call. Them. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Just make up some shit like bro. These folks done said goddamn some real shit, bro. These folks done said I'm finna check out. Mm. I need Blase to goddamn save my kid. <laughs> Whatever a nigga want to make up. Yeah. yeah. A nigga, I bet you nigga going to give you a story. A story about why they can't help you? Why they going to let you die, nigga. Oh, I just wow. tell you, tell a nigga that wow. how fucked up you is. Like, bro, I'm wow. fucked up, bro. These folks saying they finna let me goddamn check out this motherfucker. But I don't get their money up. I got such and such. I just need this. Wow. Nigga let your ass die. Yeah. That's going to make them circles smaller. It's gonna make those circles That's a lot smaller. Saying, like check that, check check that one time. Yeah. Well, just whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's a hole right there. Just ask a nigga for something, and if he ain't got it, he or not even that. Like nigga, can you goddamn point me to a preacher? Well, that's a, yeah. Wait, can you point me to anything? Somebody? Do you know can about you help me in any do, kind of way? Do you care? Him. Do you care? Who? No, I'm saying the person you talking to, like yeah. nigga, do you even care to try to help me, even if you ain't got the money? Yeah. Are you gonna try to Google that shit? Are, Are you, you gonna, gonna try, try to, to call somebody else, nigga? Do a fundraiser or something? Yeah, nigga, yeah. Whatever. Do you care? Do you like even you give said. a fuck, right? Or is it like, damn, bro? Because the care means more than the money to me. Yeah, it does. Then go further. Like Should I said, that, especially at jail. That jail is the number one thing. Like, bro, you got to think about it, bro. Many times I done got locked up for little bullshit. I don't even think to call no nigga. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't yeah. even want to talk to no yeah. niggas because I know yeah. it. It's just gonna be a disappointment. You'll train yourself to do that. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like on some shit. Like pff, I ain't finna do that. Call my girl, go get that bank roll, or call. You know what I'm saying? Dave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's it. Like you got already. Don't yeah. get there and get your heart broke. Mm. Yeah. Or don't mm -hmm. be in a situation and get your heart broke. You know what I'm saying? Like you got already be set up for that shit. Mm -hmm. But you gotta know what it is, cause some it, people are just associates and not friends. This is true, especially in the music industry. In the world. Craig. In the world. In the world, Craig. And in most people, world, 99 point, probably 7% are going to let you down. Most people let people down. People are most disappointments. Definitely. People are disappointments. Like, people you can't, see, see what I learned? I learned shit. You can't get mad at a motherfucker because they, it's not as giving or soft party as Because shit. they are who they are. Yeah, you and they're not even, you. You can't even, you can't even, like, be mad at the shit. Nigga, that's just how you are. Like, some having, just even some having my buddy or anything. I'm calling your people. Dang, you ain't got to worry about calling. I'm calling, hey, what's up? You good? Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a different. You can't get mad at a nigga to feel like shit. Who? You can't get mad because it's just, it just how you are. Just because just you give certain shit, you can't expect to receive it. Because nobody's obligated you can't to be do mad, shit like, you I agree, it. but... It, 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 but, but okay, if you let's just say you did something for whoever, you know what I'm saying, just yeah. from your heart, whoever, you gonna tell me that a thousand percent you ain't gonna feel no type of way that it ain't reciprocated, like no part of you, yeah, no nerve no, in no, you gonna no, be no. like. Let me tell you why, because I already been through it. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Get what I'm saying so I already done felt the damn when it was shoes on the other yeah. feet, like damn nigga, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I already been through that shit, so it's like. I just do shit if I can You're do it. You're numb to it now. Yeah, I, I just do shit for people if I can do it. I ain't expecting you. I know you wouldn't do this for me. Mm. But go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. If 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 it's like that. I ain't even finna put you in a situation to let me down, though. Mm. That's why you got to always stay on top of your shit. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't let yeah. nobody put you in a situation. I don't give a damn who it is. It could be your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your, your goddamn closest friends, or your homeboys, or whatever. So, 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 solution. Shit, what... To them people that feel like they got to go get fake love and fake friends, do we have a solution for them to have genuine? They may feel like they may they they might be working they one though. Everybody working to move on each other. When you first meet a motherfucker, man, if you meet if you mean a if you're a dude and you mean a female, you thinking on how to fuck. Mm. You meet a nigga, you thinking on how to fuck over him. Mm. That's just how this shit here, bro. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm trying to see, like, if I can meet some nigga through this nigga. If I can get some money through this nigga. If I can do this, I can do then that. It, we then, ain't got to be friends. But then it might become genuine. How? Meaning as in. But, but I, I, I got to disagree with you. that. I got to disagree. Ooh, go with ahead. Go ahead. I got to disagree with that because there are people out there that when they meet people, like, their mentality isn't what they can get out of the situation. Oh, that's me. Like, I'm people. That's me. Yeah. No, I'm people. Most people. I don't say most. Not, not most. No, 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 I'm, I'm saying most people oh. are trying to Niggas get something out of it. Oh, yeah, most people. There are yeah. people that, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I ain't speaking for the world, Craig. I'm speaking for me. Okay. But what I'm saying but is, listen, there have there, there been, time, there been times just like male-female relationships. There have been times where it start, it's kind of like your defense, like, okay, what this nigga on, right? Then them niggas become genuine partners. Oh yeah, yeah you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And in the relationships like, I too. Saying, I ain't saying like. But I feel like, like you, you got to be like that with every. You got to like try to figure out what they're on, so you can guard yourself from being. That's hurt. how we all but, are, cause shit is fucked up. We shouldn't be like that normally, but I'm that's like the that. shit that's that we've been through. Like that. that's, that's the shit we've been through. Shit, if you go to if, you, like if you go to somebody who might be a little more green that grew up in. I don't want to say no place and they feel offended. But grew up in a place where they didn't have you to do all that. you talking about regular people, regular everyday people. Like yes. I'm, talk, I'm talking about people in the street shit and music shit, niggas who trying to gain and climb. I got you. To get to the next step. The crabs in the bucket crew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to pull each other back, man. Yeah. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like It's, just, it's like you can't be number one, I be number two. Mm -hmm. I can't be number 10 and you number one. You know, we all getting money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like to some degree, like competition, nigga be like, hey, bro, don't tell them nigga got them where I got these shoes from. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck cares, man? People care. Well, I did this first. I did that first. I mean, it's so much shit I can say I did first, bro. Yeah. You never hear me say that shit. Bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fuck. When you set, when you when you set trends, bro, they they fuck other people to do it. Niggas be getting mad, like, man, the fuck nigga cut it hell like me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the nigga liked it. <laughs> right. What you mean? Imit he liked it. Imitation he ain't trying is trying to be you. He just liked the haircut. Imitation bro, is flattering. Shoe, bro, just rock. He had them shoot them motherfuckers fire. I like the way he rocked them motherfuckers. I'm gonna go get me a pair of them. Yeah. yeah. Nigga be like, man, nigga got that all on my dick, man. Nigga got that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga know when he got the same motherfucking shoe, man. Bro, God, that, I don't see niggas do that shit with cars. Like the car yeah, was made that shit for with them. Everything. Yeah. Man. yeah. Like, like the car was made for you. He went and got the same color and everything. <laughs> he went and got a black Escalade like bro, me. It just, it's nigga shit, bro. You just got to know how to navigate through I, that, I just, weave through that shit. I man. just, maybe I had too much faith that one day we get over nigga shit. But that goes back man, to that whole slave well mentality. To Africa. Move to Africa. <laughs> yeah, like. You might well move to Africa. No, I'm going to tell you, though. No, coming from Decatur, bro, I used to have some of that mentality. Used to was a rooster. Used to was a rooster. To the <laughs> came around for real. <laughs> Was a but I'm going to tell you what changed again. I start traveling and seeing shit. So when I start just seeing different shit and think about different shit, I couldn't think as just a nigga in Decatur no more. Like, that's what you got to realize. Most of these niggas have never seen shit else. True. Period. True. Some people so, ain't left that county. <laughs> yeah, I remember we were young, goddamn. We didn't know how to get the Linux in the car. <laughs> that's From crazy. I, I believe it. I believe yeah, it. You know like, we just, like, we know how to get down the train. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in a car. Nigga, somebody, had, and you know when all that navigation Man, shit, yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. like, like just cleaning the phone, Linux, and then just pop up, you just, no. Yeah. <laughs> nigga had getting lost, going 400, getting lost. <laughs> you think it's better to build your circle by, by just blood or family members? Is that a good way to start having genuine love? And then no, slowly, no, that's not no, good either, you don't think? Family will fuck you all work quicker. Mm, that's family a question. Sometimes be worse, man. But, it, but don't get me wrong, like, I ain't going to be Debbie the, Debbie the Downer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Like. You just got to weed it out. Mm. Like, it's going to be some genuine shit in there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you got to weed that shit out, man. Like, I ain't paying no nigga to be cool. Fuck you, nigga. You really Fuck just got to pray bitch. for discernment like, and buy no pray that God that gives shit. you enough wherewithal to be able Crazy. to sort through the bullshit. Like, we going to buy each other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I ain't... Like, bitch, the only reason why you fuck with me, bitch, because I'm breaking down and I got you this and I, No, bitch. Mm. Yeah, because I'm goddamn making sure you goddamn paying this big high ass spot and putting you. No, we ain't doing that. Gotta be mutual. Like, that Mutually. shit is cool. Like, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I guess they come with, you need to get a different type of money, though. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. I guess <laughs> niggas just feel like that shit, it, I ain't doing that. But think, that. think bitch, about this. No. What, what, what is an army, though? Like, the army pay 
everybody to go to war with them. Ain't that what the army is? I'm yeah. just thinking. The American army, the Chinese army, everything. Mm-hmm. They pay you about 100 bands a year, I think, 50, whatever it is. I don't know. I ain't never been. Yeah. To go f- die. For them. You know what I'm saying? So and is it learned behavior? Did we learn this shit from the way that the structure is? What just thinking. What I'm saying is, uh, okay, a nigga, a nigga in the streets might go pay for a bunch of friends or support or goons or whatever. Pay them. Hey, as long as I give you money, then you come, you with me. But I like mean, you said, I, when the I money mean, diminish, they leave. But, you, but, but we were talking about, it's a different, you saying goons now. We were talking about friends. Friends. Okay, Aren't goons, right, goons use, can be friends now. Okay, yeah, you're yeah, right. But yeah. guess what? When you buy a friend, you become vulnerable. You mm-hmm. become showing this man too much of what you got going on. I got you. And you you paying for this, so this is not genuine. This nigga can get you in a situation. Mm, I got you. So the goons is like the army, and then we. But when when the friends come in, that's when they get personal. The goon is goon the telling on niggas ass. Man. <laughs> 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 he goon telling them. Man. He need to get locked up. Goons are forbid. The he highest bidder. Yeah, yeah. And friends, it becomes personal. You think that if you bought a friend, that if you get if you go down or hit. You down bad. Goons these days are graduated gophers. Graduated gophers? Like, they really are just there to just be there to do what they're supposed to do. You can't depend on them. You can't count on them for shit. You can't trust them. Nothing. What what, what, what are you talking about? What you talking about, Jake? What you mean? What kind of goon you talking about? What they <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> she lost me. No, nah, like, 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 they just there to do what they do, but it's like, they don't really, there's no type of, I don't want to say loyalty, oh, yeah. but there's oh, no type no. of like, there's no type of, of nothing there. I, like, feel, I feel like most of the goons be sitting around trying to figure out how they're going to take the spot of the head person. Yeah, you know but saying? it's like, man, a I lot talk, of them niggas, I talked to Hannah, man, the other day. When that shit was like two days ago, she was like, yeah, man, name a movie where the nigga was up under the nigga then crossing. Mm. Every mob movie for sure. Every mob movie. This nigga got damn. This puss ass nigga uh, G Money. G Money. Yes. <laughs> I was, took the words this right out of my mouth. This nigga smoking dope. You smoking crack, bro. <laughs> we'll build the empire. You start smoking crack. Don't forget about the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Nino was a fuck nigga now. Granted yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But shit, he at the end of the day, we just playing a how it go. But at the end of the day, oh, you we know all this we a got, Yeah. Like, and you you a fucking crackhead. Like that nigga just disrespect. You my right man. hand, like. Why you do that, man? I don't know. I'm thinking about narcos now. Cause in narcos it always went bad, like you say, by the woman. Always. All of them went bad by Niggas the woman. Niggas be having hidden, you know. You, if you sit somewhere alone, uh, uh sit speak sit, on it. If you speak sit on it down long enough. Man. It'll come to you, bro. Some some good shit and some bad shit. Mm. So it's like this. Nigga, I know I don't like this nigga by the hoe. I said this shit in, in a, in a, a whole other time. interview. Mm. Like, yeah. Or whatever uh, podcast. A nigga will wait like like a microscope to some any little thing that he can justify why he want to beef with this nigga. But it's really about this hoe. Mm-hmm. The root of it be I stopped liking you, stopped fucking with you was about this hoe. Mm. From the rip, you see what I'm saying? So now it's like in a little bitty skitty witty. Tie a shoe string wrong. Beef. Yeah, yeah. And then and then niggas start man, yeah, them fuck niggas. Then now you telling more niggas mm. mm-hmm. and niggas and nigga, you really probably done. You know what I'm saying? Niggas probably really done did some old but whatever. Mm-hmm. But n- nigga, the read you probably would have looked over that shit if this hoe wasn't involved. Mm. A lot of these niggas fucking these niggas hoes, ah, man. We don't see street dynasties, mobster dynasties, drug dynasties fall over. What you talking Sonny's about? Sonny's sister got him killed. Sonny died by the bitch in the mm. Godfather, man. Mm. He jump up, got them chasing now. Okay, your sister, I understand, but you, you was a boss. Mm. Right. How the hell you jump in your car and, and get on the spreadway and go get sprayed like that, bro? You stupid. You just moved off emotions. Mm. Mm. Now, the root of every problem is female, though, for real. I love females with all my heart. Mm-hmm. But... That shit gonna be right, man. What's he you smiling about, Jay? He does, like for I real. I love females. Yeah. Like, ain't nothing better than on this earth, but put on this earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, 
Watch them, watch them cheat. They got instinct too. Why they peep certain shit in you? They know how to lead you. They know how to lead a sucker. Manipulate. Yeah, exactly. Like nigga always. Lil Ho told me this. Lil Ho, Lil Ho. <laughs> Why Lil Ho don't ever tell me shit? <laughs> Yeah. Cause them hoes know I don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You here for choke neck service right now? Nothing else. We ain't finna talk about nothing. Ain't talking about no niggas. We can talk about your aspirations and dreams. <laughs> I can motivate you, bitch. I'm not talking about no nigga. Pill of talk. To no bitch ever in my life. Right, right, right. Yeah. Again, we are the minority. That shit just no. Nah, that shit just keep on like a little birdie, little birdie. All these hoes just take, man. Come on, man. This shit crazy, green like wars. Mm-hmm. It's wars by hoes, man. Like these niggas is crazy, yeah. man. Power to pee. Everything, bro. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Like it can be like a nigga could <clears throat> could have fucked the same girl, and now we ain't gotta like it. We can't like each other. We ain't never had no problem. You just don't fuck this hoe. I didn't know you before this either. Do, even... do that. Do that. Is is it like that in other cultures though? What you mean? I mean, like, oh, I don't know, different races. Some black, right. black girl, man, nigga ain't giving a fuck about that, <laughs> that other stale ass pussy. These black oh, girl got good. that juice, man, <laughs> and that suction. These nigga ready to nut up about that shit. Man. <laughs> that these hoes got that suction and that juice, man. These nigga ready to nut up, bro. She doing that to everybody, bro. She ain't do that just cause you, you. That's how she do that. It's so crazy the way he's making you get a what lot. I'm saying? He's niggas, making a lot. Niggas of... will get they dick sucked by a bitch and feel like she loved me because she sucked it like that. <laughs> That's her trade, bro. Oh, That's wow. how she do this. Wow. You niggas go to feeling special, like, and then that make them nigga shoot me a nigga about this. Hoe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shoot me a nigga about this hoe, man. For real. And bro. niggas be ready to kill over these hoes, and these hoes don't even be they hoes. Yeah. You can rob a nigga, or you can got them spit on spit in his mama's nose. There's people that don't rob. There's people that don't rob. Let me not yeah, say that. Let that, that, that shit go. Yeah, they'll do music together. Yeah, yeah. But then, goddamn, you did, bro. That nigga seen you in that whole DM. It's over. This nigga is shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga shoot out his cup. How? <laughs> with his tag on the back. <laughs> that nigga don't give a fuck but about this <laughs> hoe. <laughs> Kill this nigga ass, man. For real. Hey, today on Big Fast, that's some good game for Big Bang. Salute to Jay. Oh, we got shit. This shit smoke. Shout out to Shark Lotto, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with them boys. This shit here smoking, Jack. We about to catch up with two chains right here on Big Facts, man. Y'all know what it is. Stay tuned. Tony. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Big Bang and DJ Scream bring you Big Facts. Hey man, it's all the way up. Ladies and gentlemen! That merch in. Yes! Yeah, that's right. www.bigfactspod.com. Yeah! With the real ones one time. Y'all come get y'all some of this merch, man. Bigfactspod.com. Let's get it! Get that merch right now. Shop with us. It's all the way up. Big Fat Merch. It's going down. Visit the new website today. www.bigfactspod.com. Visit now. Yep, the voice of DJ Scream, Big Facts, Big Bank is here, man. We got a special, special, highly requested guest on Big Facts. He goes by the name of Two Chains. Welcome, welcome to Big Facts, man. Long time coming. Welcome, my brother. Yeah, appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you for coming out. So, 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 talk to us, man. How, first off, how 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 you feeling? Um, coming off of one of the biggest platforms right now, Versus, man. How was that experience? You know what I'm saying? How did it make you feel and how was the experience of Versus? Rocking with Rosé. Yeah, you know, still riding that wave, you know what I mean? Definitely shout out to Swiss and Timberland Timberland for putting it together. Shout out to Rosé. You know what I mean? Sneak as well as my DJ Sud. It was was something that I had been wanting to do. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I've been wanting to do a while just trying to find somebody to to do it against or do it with, you know, my whole thing at first was like Atlanta versus anybody else. So I was just trying to find somebody outside the city. I had thought Meek would be a good competition because we was on the trap rap thing, you know what I mean? So I called, I said, I want to do it against Meek and he he had respectfully declined. And then like maybe a month later, Swiss hit me and like, "Uh, you want to do Ross? And I was like, yeah. And so it is the biggest platform for an artist during quarantine, and even if it wasn't quarantine, it's, it's you know, you got two, three, four hundred thousand people watching you. They don't even make an arena that big, you dig? Yeah. Saying, so. 
Did you how, did you do a lot of preparation for it, or you just kind of went like, shit, I'm just going to go kick it, and it's going to no, be, it is no, what it is? No, no, I absolutely did a lot of preparation for it. I did a lot of studying for it. Uh, it's like a real, you know, I take this stuff serious, like a sport. You know, I ate right, I slept right. Mm. I had my clothes laid out. <laughs> I had my list done two weeks earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> my list has been that way because I sent my list to Swiss. I never, them the same 20 songs I picked two weeks ago, so my list never changed. I just, you know what I mean, stuck to the script. For the most part, I turn around and tell my DJ just, you know what I mean, we ain't doing no combat. We just going to pay play, you know what I'm saying, 20 plaques back to back. That was my whole thing. And, uh, Man, I enjoyed it, man. You know, you just get to, it's a it's a cool way to get your roses, you know what I'm saying, why you can still smell them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, too, man. Like, at this point, you know, the, the conversations have to change. I was telling people leading up to it that Ross definitely got hit. Salute to him. But I was like, y'all know, y'all know my partner, like, ten, it's 10 plus now, right? Since mm -hmm. Duffel Bag. Well, since, yeah, since Duffel Bag came out. Well, my first solo, and that's another thing what people need to understand. My first solo project came out in 2012, my first solo album. So, mm -hmm. you know, these hits that I've accrued and that I played besides Duffel Bad Boy has mm -hmm. all been within the last eight years. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, everybody else that's done this versus thing has had an album out, you know, in the early 2000s. And you know what I mean? So just to let people know uh, how much ground I covered in the time. You know what I mean? It's not that I'm a young artist or anything, but just my time getting in. Um, and letting people know, saying no, I was in the game and making making some real noise. Duffel Bad Boys was my first official, I guess you know, you know, offer to the world. You know, what I'm saying with the help of Tune, but that was mm -hmm. around I want to say 07, 08, and that was Player Circle, obviously. But that's something that I will, I will always be grateful for. It will be something that I will always perform. It's like you know, what I mean, it means the world to me because it, it changed the trajectory of my family life. You know what I'm saying? Like then, I wasn't no millionaire then. I can't count mm -hmm. like I was no millionaire in 07, 08. I'm just trying to get it, put it together. Still trapping no cap around that time. So for him to do something like that, it changed my life. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what, what dollar? What dollar been up to? Dollar good. I just talked to him today and yesterday. I was trying to get him to come out to the um, compound with me. But he, um, he out here, you know what I'm saying? That's still, <laughs> that's still my slime. That's still my nigga. Yeah, yeah. What you been on, though, Tank? Uh, man, you know, I kind of, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a habitual person, so I normally do the same thing pretty much all the time. So with the quarantine actually slowing down really all my traveling plans, it's been pretty much, um, you know what I'm saying, you know, up all night to six or seven, you know, in the lab, you know what I'm saying, catching vibes, just trying to, you know what I mean, still chasing them number ones and still chasing them, you know, a fan of day type of vibe. I'm still like excited about making new music and even surprising myself with concepts and metaphors and ideas. You know what I'm saying? I go to sleep around seven, some, I might get up around some 12, you know what I'm saying? I go to the gym three days a week for about an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? Um, after that, I do a little stuff with my kids sometimes. Other than that, you know, I got the restaurant Escobar. Shout out to Snoop. Escobar downtown and Escobar on the south side. So I'm at uh, either uh, members only. I'm at one of my spots, just like staying out the way. And I even got Pampa, the nail spot right there next to Escobar. So, I'm, you know, I might be getting my foot some uh, Hands done. And just be staying out the way. I'm a player, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know, I'm a player, man. I don't, you know. I'm really like just be trying to think of ways on um, showing my kids a better way of life and then really just being an inspiration to others, like how we can try to get some money and stay COVID free at the same time. You know? Well, fact. What you what you think out now being in this shit, like what you think you the good came out of a nigga being just sitting down, you know what I'm saying? Oh man. What good you think? Uh, like you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, you know, I'm, I'm big on health anyway, but just being able to reset after traveling for, you know, over 10 years in a row, just going back and forth, you know what I'm saying, sleep deprivation, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm sure it was good for the soul, you know what I'm saying, no one needs to be, I ain't going to say sit down this long, oh, but no, the, facts. you know, the initial sit down was kind of like, it was needed, man, you know, 
it was just needed for some, for some people who have a, a busy schedule. I can't speak for everybody. Yeah. For me, I kind of had kinda, didn't even know I needed it because I'm with the, I'm with the move and I'm with jumping okay. from plane to plane. Mm-hmm. But just not you know just looking at a calendar that has nothing on it for the next month or so like nothing like nothing on the calendar. Mm-hmm. You can sleep later or whatever. So that's all. Ain't a know. nap crazy. I ain't taking no naps to this shit. Yeah. Like just taking a nap Those in the middle like of the nothing. day. Fifteen like, minutes, forty five minutes, whatever. That shit crazy. Yeah. It feel good though. Oh, just to take a nap in the middle of the day. I mean, you need that. You know Everybody has so much shit, goddamn, ready for this year, man. I don't think twenty twenty one ready for all these playing niggas had, man. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> started that motherfucker out strong top of the year. Yeah, like, niggas dropping bombs after bombs. You know what I'm saying? It just like. I don't know, man. I don't yeah. know if this. I can't say a nigga needed it. Like, I feel sorry for niggas who fucked up or whatever can't provide. But yeah, exactly. You but know what I'm saying? And, and and definitely feel bad for them. But at the same time, I tell a lot of people, man, you got to plan for that rainy day. You know what I'm saying? Well, no this matter shit, what. Rainy months. This, 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 some rainy this, months this, for this, sure. This, this a different kind of rainy day. Though. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no. It's but but it ain't like one person going through it. Everybody even if, going even through if it. a person. That's the only thing that you can say to kind of soothe people's pain, but it still don't do that. It don't. Mm. It don't heal that wound. You know what I mean? It's people really struggling, man. It's millions of people that for sure that's jobless right now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And waiting on a check or a stimulus check. You know, we all know we all everybody in here knows somebody that's that's scamming whether they got to do it or they need that's to real. do it. You know what I'm saying? Want to do it? Uh, want it's just like <laughs> it, it might be both. Might yeah. want, might start off as need and just you know whatever it is. It's just like. Man, I can't point my finger at nobody. I can't no blame nobody for what they're doing because, you know, have me being in that position, I'm not sure what what, what my what my mindset would be. So, mm. you know, uh, and like I say, for me, it was it was diversifying my funds, just having my money in different places that allows me to be able to sit down another month. You know, what I'm saying if I have to, you know what I mean. But mm. I'm just like every other artist, man. I became victim of it. Excessive jewelry buying, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Having, you know, 10 cars, one person, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I got a couple houses, one person, you know what I'm saying? You always made people. investments though, bro. I remember when you got when you got the Porsche, it was on all that, you like, yeah. I'm going to get the Porsche, but I'm going to get a tour bus too. You uh, see what I'm saying? So you yeah. always balanced it out, bro. Like you always, that yeah. purchase will go, your know, Pleasure purchase will go with a business purchase. Yeah, That's all I was know now, now, when you're buying a bus and a Porsche at the same time, now you ain't got no record deal. You have Yo, nah, control. nah, listen. You have some listen. paper now. Yeah, nah, tit, 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 tit. Ain't, no cap, ain't no cap on that now. <laughs> There's yeah, no you buying, tour, buying tour buses with studios no. in them, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Putting yeah, them yeah. in the back, other trap parking them. No, true story. Like, man, I don't, I don't think people, that's why I be getting upset, you know what I'm saying? Because. Man, this, this shit we were doing on the net, we couldn't even, man, can't even, we can't rap about this shit. We can't even find a, I can't even find a clever way to rap about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know what I'm saying, to all, to 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 any of my homies, you know what I'm saying, dollar included, that made it up out of the circumstance that we came from, man, it's just, it's a blessing and it's a, just a humbling feeling and that's why, you know, people walk, light, and move, you know, look, with, with not as many people. Mm. What make you think? What you think make niggas just want to have that shit like cheer and shit that really don't even matter for real? What make you think? What you you know what I'm saying? Cause sure. I'm I'm the same way, but I can't figure out what make me want that shit though. Man, that shit look good, and we ain't come from that. And then we had them, you know, what I'm saying where we came from. I done said this in many interviews. Bang, I used to, nigga, this on everything. I used to want to be fat, man, cause my cousin. <laughs> he was fat and had money. Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and it like that rich nigga look. Yeah. <laughs> I used to stand like that. <laughs> you know, stand like that. He used to get up, yeah. <laughs> get up, get a brush. He be, he be brushing this thing. He be itching. Big, big ass nigga. fly nigga. Yeah, big, big, but he got a pretty girl. Yeah. Really, I'm like four <laughs> bigger with doing it. My mm-hmm. home in the bed. You know what I'm saying? And I just seen everybody I seen with money. The night car, they had a little weight on them. Then medallion was laying about right up in there. Yeah. And I, and I that was the jewelry, the glass that had gold. Well, they was gazelle and not necessarily Cartier, but just it was certain images that I could still see in my mind being in the environment that I came from. Yeah. It made me want to, I mean, like, my daddy never listened to me. He never 
got up in the morning and got dressed for work. I ain't never seen this image in my mind ever. All I know, like I've seen, I've literally seen in my mind, if I close it and think about my dad, the first thing I see is a triple bean scale. That's the first, if I think about something, it like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Pounds or Reggie or whatever he was doing, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, is crack pipes, you know what I'm saying? Like shoebox tops, you know what I'm saying? Where they was, you know what I'm saying? Getting the seeds out the reef of there, sweep it up. It's just so many things that I saw as a kid that made me want a uh, Cadillac or Jury or yeah. Mercedes Benz. And, like, it's a real thing. What you, I told somebody if I lived in Colorado, I know how to ski. I told somebody that, like, hey, shit, I know how to do that if I were from now, but I'm from Atlanta, so I know how to trap. That's that's what I do know how to do. I can hustle, I can sell you. I can sell you anything. Nah, for real though. <laughs> I can sell you anything. Nah, niggas is like trophies, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they trophies. Do, and yeah. like trophies, like a nigga make it feel like, like, I got this out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Hustle. It's what it basically be, but, you know, like, a nigga can't do that shit that, on that keep up shit, bro. What you mean? No. You know, trying to keep that up jury. with it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. around and be, yeah. It'll yeah. be a car. Every yeah, time yeah. a nigga get this, you got to get this. And like, every year, man, nigga ass, bro. You going to run out because some of these niggas in different bags. Mm -hmm. A lot of these niggas get different bags. You know what I'm saying? Get different bags. You, nigga, you coming in this shit. I'm talking about to the new artists. Like, you coming in this shit trying to I already do that, bro. You going to be in the rear. Mm -hmm. oh, man, the, nigga, this, this is, you know what I mean? Just say he put this shit out in 2012. First yeah, solo album, yeah. so it's like this is years can, of grinding yeah, and stacking and playing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I can play a little bit. But these, these young niggas don't get that, don't know that. Mm -hmm. They thinking got now, we can just fuck it up. Can't just fuck it up. You gotta stack it up first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's important to them to have conversations with people like Chains and other people though, just to get some game on what to do with the money. Because a lot of niggas don't know what to do with the money, but fuck it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ready to fuck it up for somebody bad for it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, man. Uh, what's your what's your thoughts? You know, the current administration. We know you're not y'all uh, friends with the mayor and everything, man. What's your thoughts on just talking to people and voting or making our situation better locally, making it better nationally? What is what are two change political thoughts? Like, what would you say to the people? Man, I'm not big on politics. Scream, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm connected to this that know something about this, but you know. Every now and then, just like a lot of artists is with the inside, but for the most part, or swear they be knowing something inside, but for the most part, I try not to speak on stuff that I'm just not knowledgeable about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like, you know, Trump's an asshole. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's he, keep he, it basic. Trump, not, yeah, Trump's an asshole. Should we vote to get him he, out? He, he, oh, yeah, of course. Okay, the yeah, basics. That's no, that's no, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, There's some people who don't believe that. That's fine. I, that's that's the thing about thoughts and opinions and people, man. If you go around trying to get people to think like you, you know how tired you'll be. That's real. You know? Exhausted. So, so it's just like you got to be the best, you know what I'm saying, you. You know, your belt. You know what I'm saying? These Some of these people, man, like you talking about brain, you talking about changing somebody's mind who been brainwashed for years. For, it's in their blood, man. Mm. Like, that shit crazy, man. It's like you trying to tell me something that I ain't gonna never believe in, like, starting the day. Like, and I've been believing something my whole life. Like, it's just, it's gonna be, you, gonna, you, gonna, you can yell, you can write stuff, you can do all that, you know what mm. I mean? So, it just, man, it look like it's a lot of tension, you know what I'm saying, going on. It's a lot of people broke, hungry. It just, mm -hmm. it's just a fucked up situation out here, and you know what I'm saying? They ain't really trying to hear from no artists, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, people ain't really trying to hear from no artists who fake, woke, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, <laughs> that shit ain't fake right, woke. man. <laughs> fake, woke. <laughs> just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if you tell niggas go vote, a lot of people look up to you, bro. They gonna no, go vote. I've done, man, my whole initiative now is actually trying to um, get felons um, to understand that yeah. they can reinstate the vote. Right. Like, I got a straight initiative. Like, boom, I ain't all over the place. Mm -hmm. Voting is like this damn wide. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. I'm just trying to talk to somebody. Like, I made a mistake when I was younger here. Like, mm -hmm. like, and then when I found out that it couldn't be held against me, I was like, I, you know, I just want to spread that to people who might have made mistakes when they were young as hell, too, and didn't know that they could vote. That's that's That was my thing. Like, you know what I mean? Each state it, is different, but if you're a felon and you ain't on probation and you ain't, um, do like a violent uh, crime, you can you can actually vote right now. You know what I mean. And so that was that's the initiative that I'm that I'm 
I play around in that little area right there. You know gotcha. what I mean? Yeah. Gotcha. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, man. Um, the headline was was that was that true or false? The the whole somebody somebody from Escobar's family trying to sue because of the Escobar restaurant was it um, true false? Is there any truth to it? Or we getting scooped? I mean, we getting uh, scooped. We getting sued for sure. You, you know definitely okay. we getting sued for sure, and that's probably all I'm gonna talk about it because yeah. it's a lot of it's some stuff going on with it that that really doesn't concern me or stress me out at all. Yeah, it's yeah. just like. You know what I mean? It's not it's not even a family, so that makes it even more fun. Oh wow. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So it is so it there is like, some truth to it, but not no, the way the headline. Yeah, we getting sued all yeah. day long. You know, I it's me. I yeah. stay getting sued. Right, 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 right. You, know, you get to a certain sued. level then. I'm gonna sue somebody one day, though. I gotta get somebody back. <laughs> you ain't sued nobody yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get somebody. I've been thinking. I want to sue Walmart. Tech was scared. Walmart them done made the dab and sound of shirts. He talking about they third party. Some junk oh, man, fire them folks Walmart. up, man. Yeah, yeah. Walmart got twit on them folks. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart got, got the chains. Walmart, the chains. Walmart give nigga a little something gonna be a lot. They got four pips. You gonna be throwing your money and losing battle. No, man, them folks are settled. Man, the settle nigga happy with the settlement. That's what I'm talking about. Them folks are settled with them for twenty. eBay selling your product on eBay. You can't sue eBay. You gotta sue the person who's actually selling. Take me knowing what he's Walmart he... got a whole system built now, like eBay. Yeah. Amazon. Take me knowing what he's talking about. That we talking about. I want to sue somebody. You don't get it wrong. We're going to get, <laughs> we gonna hey, get somebody. Some, some people are professional sewers. Like, they just wait for the right time. Oh, I cut my leg. I'm going to sue your ass. Like, some people just Man, sue. I've been sued. Yeah, I'm done. I'm <laughs> Dropping them bad, ideas. too, bro. Yeah. No, I don't fuck. I'm done. I spent no hundreds not to give your ass nothing. So <laughs> they been on me like, boy, sell to get them folks a twin or something. <laughs> Fuck them folks. You know that's what I'm saying? Right. That's the, that's the, that's who the, money gonna run out the fast? That's the Virgo. Uh, who who got their lawyer gonna be like, bro, I ain't gonna keep doing them because they waiting to get paid. That's the Virgo. I done made two, three lawyers quit before, man. I'm done. They say she say Sarda got another lawyer like tell them we we going again. We be back next week. So that's part of the game. That's part of the game, bro. Right. That's just part of the game where you at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what what you miss most uh, other than the traveling and getting to the money with what, whatever thing going on this year? What what you miss the most? Is it like maybe I don't know basketball games? I know you're in the basketball. What you think I'm you miss the most? The basketball games. Um, no, I miss performing, man. Performing, that, that yeah. was my man. That was my space on stage, man. It's yeah. a different. It's a different feeling that I can't even. Um, Explain nobody, you know what I mean? Being on stage, it, it's equivalent to, I guess, if you was if if you was like a basketball star, and when you got the, you know, and if you just back playing basketball, period, whoever got the ball, people look at the person, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Especially mm -hmm. if they like a, a a star, you know what I'm saying? Like you just be looking at James Harden, LeBron. Mm -hmm. So the microphone is very similar. Like when you got that mic, all eyes on you, you know what I'm saying? So you know you command this certain, you know what I'm saying? Just like. Um, you know, respect from the people, and it just be this whole little energy and this whole frequency that, that I miss that more importantly. Just looking somebody in the eyes and spitting my shit, or, or looking them in the eyes and they spitting my shit to me. You know what I mean? I miss that. Mm -hmm. I know, goddamn, fuck with Kobe Hart. That shit yeah. came out nowhere. Though. Hell yeah, that hurt my heart. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that was that's what kind of. Started spiraling down the whole um, yeah. Twenty twenty yeah, when that yeah, happened, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. it was the most yeah. it was the most unbelievable thing because yeah. like you know death is crazy you know for us our age people just everything and just like when it was his name and helicopter I was so I remember texting text as soon as I saw I couldn't believe it yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Rest in peace, long live Kobe, long live Kobe. This yes, new uh, money maker record, bro. Um, talk about it. Obviously, it's a uh, uh, you know you salute HBCUs. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh, big horns in there and everything. Uh, just talk to us about why you felt it was important to make a record like that. And moving forward this year, if there are no homecomings and HBCU activity, you know your maybe some of your creative ways that you're gonna get it out there. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had the record recorded. Um, shout out to Southern University. That that was a sample from their mm -hmm. band selection. Um, 
I just think it's it just, you know, it's some titty boy shit. Just as soon as they think I ain't got no motion going on, I hit them with one of these. But like for me to be in the game this long and to for me to be getting as many text messages as I'm getting about this possibly being my biggest record so far, mm. meaning that you mean tell me I ain't made my hardest shit yet? Mm. That what you trying to tell me? <laughs> nah, for real. That what you saying? That's hard. That's yeah, a blessing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. Yeah. So um, the HBCU angle was that, um, you know, I went to one. It's just a creative angle. You know, this has never been done before. Let's just let's just pop it a little bit. You know, people sample stuff all the time, but this whole band, this whole black, you know what I'm saying? I'm from, I went to Mac now, you know what I'm saying? So, like, before I went to North Clayton, so, like, Southwest the Cal, Mac now, that used to be, like, people would go to that game just see for the, band. the bands. Yeah, the bands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then taking it to black schools, like, you know, fam, you and a lot of these schools, you know, they so serious about band. It's scary. like scholarships, you know what I'm saying? People go to school for free. Mm. So it went hand to hand. I got Wayne on now because we're going to drop, after my solo album, we're going to drop Collie Grow too. So, so we're just getting everybody used That's to the. Hot. That's hot. Getting everybody used to hearing us, you know, together again. So so Help Me God is, is yeah, the name so of the album? Yeah, So Help Me God is the name of my solo album. La last album on Def Jam is what yeah. I heard. Yeah. Okay. What what you see? You, you think you're gonna join another team? You think you're gonna go independent? What 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 do you think is the best move for you at well, this point? Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we open for all these discussions. <laughs> like Some people just want to be <laughs> independent. Feel, feel like KD a little bit. You okay, know what I'm I don't know gotcha. what I want to do. Go, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody call me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all see I'm still. You see I'm still in the game. Now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying drinking water, going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Take care of myself. Yeah. Drop it smack. Man, this shit a smash I just dropped. It's a smash. It's yeah. a smash, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, this joint infectious. It'll be everywhere in about six or seven months. It just, it got that feeling, you know? And I ain't picked the record. I'm just recording these motherfuckers every night. Yeah. Take say, but take say. That's one of them, you know what I'm saying? Goat, he told me they gonna go crazy over there on the college scene. And being that a lot of people can't go back to college, it's nostalgia. It just got that vibe to it. I'm going to shoot the video this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, stay tuned. Yeah. That's hard. Do you think if you get into, um, I, well, let me rephrase it a little bit. If somebody took their time out to, um, let's say, on some rap shit, just some rap shit, like challenge you and make a, I've never heard 2 chains be dissed in the record or none of that type of crazy shit. But if somebody did take it upon themselves to really construct a record going at you, would you, would you entertain it at this level? Oh man, that's a good one, man. I mean, I yeah, I would have to yeah, I gotta respect. I got to do that, but see, it, you know, that's it could be tricky and trolly. Yeah, too. Could, that's what I'm saying. There's trolls. I'm just letting you. Anything can happen. I guess 2020. it depends on who it's coming from. I guess I don't even know the answer to that. I don't, I guess I don't, my, I don't even be thinking like that. Would you be? Would you think? Well, you shouldn't. You well, shouldn't. What's somebody gonna say, man? You, you you think you get money, man? Your rich nigga. Like what they gonna say? Like man, old rich ass, tall. <laughs> That's man, all, all your real, all your real jewelry, man. You over there taking care of your kids, old lane. Jim. Got all them businesses. Like, what you finna say? Jim. I'm just really trying to figure out, like, like how you finna, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, old. What are you talking about? Rich ass, rich ass nigga taking care of your business, eh? Like, what's the diss finna be? Most times when people diss, they lie. Yeah, so they would probably lie. That so one what I don't know if I want to be. Oh, well, yeah, I'm trying to see how I'm, what I'm gonna come back with. You see, oh man, let's not play them game. Let's just yeah. not even nobody play has. Them. I don't expect nobody to. You I know how to rap this. really, really good, and but then I am to a point now. I am to a point now. Well, I, you know, that black man pride, that ego, motherfucker. That should have put your ass in the chain game. Put your ass in the, in the graveyard. Mm. Uh, Put the other person in them place, you know what I mean. Right, so right. I am learning to uh, just be, be be happy about who I am, know who I am, and, and uh, you know, try not to get involved in that other shit. Just cause like I ain't gonna, I can't let nobody play me out the streets at this point in my career. This yeah, day, yeah, yeah. like think how it go from being. Man, I love two chain. Man, he had to be the stupidest nigga in the world. To go. Like it, it goes. It, that's how fast. But it, it goes. happens. You know what I'm saying? People like, feed. Ho said, um, um, 
if you shoot me, you famous. If I shoot, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, this I'm shit's brainless. like, yeah. it's just like, man, I, it just gotta find that balance. That's why people be, you know how I learn it. Just to get some game to some up and coming rappers or even rappers that just start crap. popping though, how, how did you, how did you manage to protect your brand that way and not be in so much bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Cause some people be in bullshit month two of their career, just start getting money. They be flaw. And mm. and they don't be I'm very transparent. You know what I'm saying? Each mm. each everybody in this room, for the most part, been around me. On and off the camera, on and off the mic. Mm. My temperament pretty much the same. I don't go home and take no wig off, you know what I'm saying? Take nothing off. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, do my kids call me two chain? Yeah, sometimes they do. Mm. Yeah, they they do. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't an act or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty much a, a man of integrity. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, if I'm gonna do something for you, I gotta feel like it's it's, it's helping. You know, something or a cause or something. Mm-hmm. Um, if I need you for something. And you can't do it. I don't get my emotions involved at all. Mm, I don't even let that happen, right, like, bro. I've been right, like, yeah. I've been wanting features from people, and I remember, I, I remember, I couldn't even do my own stuff. I was doing features for so many people, mm. but you know, at this point in my career, I might have to hit a person a couple of times, and if they're so busy and not a lot, uh, can't get to it. I don't let my emotion get involved. I'm not doing no sleep tweet, no sleep rapping. Mm. I just. I just, you know what I'm saying, straight up understand it, you know what I mean, and get it. I'm just at a point of understanding right now, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm at a point of peace, man. I'm still, like I say, for somebody <clears throat> to be, you know what I mean, not stressing during the, this whole pandemic, is, 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 is you got to be just grateful for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that that's all, you know. I'm just, I think that's why I ain't never, I ain't on top behind people, nigga, back on, do nothing that, some other people may have got themselves so caught up into you. You, know you really saying? spend a lot of time in the studio, and I think That's that if it's a rapper, if you spend a lot of time in the studio, you stay. I thought out everybody of did that though. So I no, there's a uh, lot of rappers that spend a lot less time in the studio than life. Lifestyle is important too. I still do what you used to, when you used to come over to the net. I still stay in there that long, as long as that. From yeah, 10 you know, you live in there like you live in the studio, so. That's what you should probably do as a musician if you want to leave a legacy and make great music and shit. You should spend your time in the studio, especially once you get to the point. Remember when niggas used to have to pay hourly for studio and it was kind of like, oh, I ain't got no that time in the studio. Yeah. When you get your own, just stay in the fucking studio. Yeah, that's yeah. probably why I'm so fire too. Yeah, you can't come up with no fire shit, goddamn, knowing you got them on a time limit or Boy, you finna you pay about? for this shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you got to have that already. <laughs> if you gon', if you gon', the only people that do that to be like. Bro, book me. They already got them. They got a song in their head. They just yeah. need to go somewhere and yeah. lay it. Now that's a different energy. But yeah. if you just tell me like, we gonna go tomorrow Trying too, to right? Yeah, shit. we yeah. gonna do this again. I'm like yeah. all that old shit. You finna fuck up a bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. might yeah. Well just buy that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, remember the mic my, and the computer. Some yeah. of that yeah. shit. No, it's super cheap, man. For anybody listening on the most serious yeah. note, man, uh, your, your personal studio. I take one everywhere. I've done songs. I've done songs on my album in my hotel room. Straight up, that the. The mm-hmm. top for that, the top, and I know this is still expensive, but the top for that is like seventy-five to ten thousand dollars. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying for for something that you can actually use, and it could be, you know what I'm saying, heard with clarity on a professional level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, what what made you decide to uh, rock with the artist that you got on, on the the real universe, the <sighs> real university? Why did you choose them? Oh, boy. You know, what I'm saying schooling my man, schooling my favorite art, artist in the whole world. Just mm-hmm. like, I fuck with school. I ain't never seen nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like, I want him to get bigger and richer than me. It's just something about skate. I just, mm-hmm. I ain't never seen. I seen him do it in my face. It like man, home or home, something else. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, I'm really just like, just want people to see what I see. You know what I'm saying with him? So. I just always got his back. Um, I got World um, about a four seasons. World super hard, but to be coming out of the, um, the places where he came from, the the, the the depths of the trenches, he more on a more positive kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? On some his whole like, you know what I'm saying? Whole message he pushing his no child left behind, mm-hmm. and I bought into it. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy turned me on to him. As soon as he came through, we just clicked up. 
So he got some really dope ideas. And then I got two artists from the South Side. I got Lil' Hot and then mm-hmm. I got Sleepy Rose. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, them boys from the South Side and you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they with what they talking about. And um, I actually know so big, you know, big, mm-hmm. my partner, big, big, just beat cancer. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I saw but big, that in the verses. Yeah, yeah. Up. Big, big's um, son was killed two years ago, mm-hmm. 17. All right. Mm-hmm. So big son was Sleepy's best friend, and he was Hot's cousin because Hot is big's cousin. So I hired after this happened, after big son was um, you know fatally shot, I gave him a job as A and R for um, the Real University Records. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I gave him the job, and he actually brought me Sleepy and Hot, you know what I'm saying, as the first two artists to the label. And I just love, you know, they, it wasn't about followers or nothing. I just loved the way them boys moved, how they walked, and, and the shit they were talking. Mm-hmm. And so, actually, I got those two from Big, and, I, uh, you know, that's that's the that's the sum it up. Um, I messed with a few other, other people, and, you know, I'm just trying to get it right, and, and I people another you know what I'm saying another you know side of life mm-hmm. where you can really be the first one to get you some millions and take care of your family and you could be the one to just I was the first millionaire in mine you know what I mean so that's that's the message that's hard that's dope that's dope what kind of female artist would, could be a part of that like what kind of what kind of female would it have to be to be a part of the real university and be the female artist? Cause you don't have no female artists yet, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a couple of girls I'm messing with. I don't, you know, really want to tell folk cause they might try to snack my, be in my bag. But mm-hmm. it's a couple of girls. I mean, for now, girls are really mm-hmm. doing their thing in the industry. So you got to be stupid not to be paying attention to um, the female presence, right? And mm-hmm. I think the most part, people like females to be transparent, like who they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like. That's why Cardi B killed. Do, I was supposed to ask you, do you think that that record is too nasty like everybody is? The new record, I don't know if you heard it yet or not. The WAP uh, record. Wet ass pussy part. Yeah. Oh, man, you ain't finna get me on the little clickbait. I might know wet <laughs> ass pussy screen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two chains say wet ass <laughs> Man, stop. <laughs> Next question. Well, okay. <laughs> Forget Next that, question. bro. I'm just saying, do you think that's. <laughs> no, that was not the aim. The aim is to say. You said that women should be <laughs> transparent and talk about whatever they want to talk about. Do you feel like certain women? Man, I just said they need to be themselves. If that's themselves, I feel. If like they nasty, be nasty. Yeah, if they, yeah. if people gonna, you got. I'm telling you, if any woman, they just have to be them. Any they true selves, people gonna buy. And if your true self ain't being a freak and all that, not even mm-hmm. that angle. Somebody like. They just need that that girl. If you are a, a one that don't want to, whatever, if you preaching this angle, you ain't you whatever, whatever mm-hmm. it is, it's it's I swear, girls are doing really good in the industry. And right that now. should be every rapper. Be yourself. Oh you no, know nah, man. Them, it's a lot of folk got scripts out here. But you know that. You can see that. It, yeah, yeah. You know, like man, I I used to judge people by damn near what High school, they damn near like I, used to, I would I, when I first got in the game, I just didn't have no understanding of like I used to be like, and not even what high school I used to just be telling myself, I bet he was lame in high school. You could just tell, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you could just tell before you just tell, and I'm yeah. just spread. You just tell. I I used to be like that, closed mind like that. You know what I'm saying? And then some. My my definition of lame might just be somebody that's very quiet and artistic in school, and they blow up and get Grammys. So yeah, it ain't. It's just. You know, it just take time. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I, like, having, trying to work with young artists, you just got to really be patient. You know what I mean? That's the biggest word, the biggest key, working with anybody young. What's up with your boy, Ye? I, I talked to Ye. The last time I spoke with him was the day I went to um, see Farrakhan speak, and, and he announced the presidency that day. He had told me about it. That was the last time we spoke, you know what I'm saying, on the phone. Um, I ain't spoke to him since then, so you know, I ain't you know what I'm saying I ain't turned my back on on him or nothing like that. So if that's the question or something like, nah, you know what I'm saying I, I fuck with who I fuck. You know y'all you're know, not, crazy. Nah, you know nah, I fuck nah, with. Nah, you're not. Nah, 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 n
We want him to be so straight. <laughs> no, we <laughs> we want him to be straight. We you ain't gotta say nothing. Man, we, we want Ye to be straight. Him, man. We can't speak on him though, cause like I know how we are. Everybody, you know, wishing to be, but like, listen, yeah. For any entertainer out there, it's a heavy load. All right, let me speak. So we want everybody to be straight. You my partner. If 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 I felt like you got people around you that love you, yeah. but if you went somewhere, then I'm call at least what's going. He's straight. We just want niggas to be straight. Genuinely, this ain't about all that other shit. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I know, man. I got you. No, nah, I feel you. One thousand percent. Yeah. So everybody be straight. Everybody be themselves. Be original, like I gotta talk about this for you, slide. What kind of tr what trends do you think that you s like you started? <laughs> Just give us two or three. There might be a lot, but what it could be Which like. Which ones you think I start? Uh, certain ad libs. Um, I can't say from a fashion perspective, but you might have been in Atlanta. You might have started the Versace trend. Maybe I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what other trends, what trends do you feel like you might have started? Nah, man, you know, ain't nothing new under the sun. Uh, screen, I ain't, I ain't get this far putting this shit in folks' face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever I do, it's a contribution. Yeah. Whatever I, I do, it's a We yeah. just, this yeah, shit yeah. crazy how that yeah. shit, did. you just said that. Boy, you came, we was already got down, did some shit. Did an intro. We just talking like, I ain't, nigga, I done, Came up with so much shit, but you ain't gonna never hear me say I did this yeah, first time. Don't even me. sound right. Yeah, that's that shit, that ain't that, that shit. That shit kind of hanky panky, man. <laughs> I the first nigga, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Cause I saw it somewhere. Yeah, you got that's it from somewhere. Some shit I seen, I put something with it and did that. It's still the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It came from something. Yeah, ain't nothing new on the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. man, Real yeah. shit. No, um, but I do enjoy being creative, and I do enjoy. Um, sparking somebody else's idea. I mean, ain't nothing mm -hmm. like that. Even though if you get credit for it or not, because I mean, I would. I, man, that's what I would like. We all do that, right? Like when it's like time to like, like what would you listen to if you want to just like, or what would you watch if you just wanted to get some ideas? You know what I'm saying? People search for that, mm -hmm. and you know, I don't know, you know, if I'm if I am or if I'm not one of those people, but I do know I try to be creative every chance I get and put some different energy out there. Every time I step, every time I pop, that's what I try to do. So if somebody take it and remix it, like I know some people have, shit, it work. I feel you. But but you okay, because imitation is the best form of flattery. Unless you know you're doing something right. Yeah. If man. don't nobody want to be that, that lets me know my cultural rele relevance. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I have been in the game a long time and so I don't nobody call me um, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a peer. Mm. Don't nobody <laughs> call me. <laughs> None of your young artists ever said what a uh, uh, call uh, me uh, 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 slap <laughs> fuck out one of them. Ain't no uh -huh. <laughs> I look better than most of them niggas. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm about to start a skincare line. I told Tech the other day, man, I man, I'd be uh -huh. Uh -huh, man. Like I take care of myself too good. I'll be around here. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, listen. I'm I'm still I still have cultural relevance. I still, you know what I'm saying. I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying. I appreciate whatever God got going on for me. I appreciate. It. I'm still I'm still out here. Mm, absolutely. Salute to change, man. So help me God is coming September. September. Okay. So help me God coming next month. Okay. That means it's wrapped up. Yeah, them producers had done seen that shit. Don't the producer they hit me now. <laughs> Take the motherfucker sending me all type of damn folders, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do some more joints. The one I, they were keeping for what a name them. For them, they be having that. They'll be having that name on the beat. I was like the gall. You know what I'm saying? Definitely be hitting a nigga with the Drake beat. God dang, Weezy beat. God mm. dang, you know what that beat like? Damn, they be making these, but. It don't matter, man. I be done got one of them on it, so you know how that go. It's just uh, putting out the best, put my best foot forward for this next project, so help me God, you know what I'm saying? That's just, you know me, I'm into, you know what I'm saying? Double meanings and everything, so people understand what it is. You know, when they hit a project, and definitely just, you know, understand as I, you know, continue to promote 
in, you know, marketing the project, they'll get a gist of it. Okay. Big shouts out to Two Chains, man. So help me two God, chain, coming man. soon. Big facts. Big I'm facts. glad I don't made big facts, but <laughs> Bank called me, but like he had some tea, but like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I need you at that shit show, man. Twenty six. Man, shit, I'm push up, damn no. Got you. Make sure I got the spot in the front. Nah, I got you. I'll put you, get you right. Six feet, me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure. Oh nah, we taking temperatures and all that. Man, that shit. temperature cap. I'm telling you, though, <laughs> that, that shit cap. Temp- temperature cap. The temperature in it. You got to still uh, temperature in there. You can be, you can be full blown. Mm-hmm. Bitch, have a regular, normal temp. So and be spreading. That temperature ain't shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a good precaution and can catch people if they do have a slight fever. But for the most part. A lot of the asymptomatic people who have got COVID, they don't have any a fever at all. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to talk about that kind of thing. What I do want to tell you is I appreciate it. I know you for a long time. I know you for a long time. Absolutely. appreciate it, y'all boys, making an impact. The baby to get up here and do this right here. You know what I'm saying? Love. For the streets, you know what I'm saying? We need that. Keep getting the street niggas up here. Keep getting them five stories. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm glad we was able to do it around album time. Like, that was the plan anyway. For glad we was able to do it in person. That's why, that's a big part of the reason we wanted to hold out. So we yeah. could we could have zoomed you, but yeah, you feel right this way. Yeah, I, I tell you, I want to push up. up on you, though. Yeah. 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 I appreciate y'all, though, man. Anything y'all need, just let me know. And I, I'm sure it's vice versa. Uh, vice yeah, versa. yeah, always, oh, yeah. always, 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 always. Salute the two chains, man. Big facts. Tony. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Big Bank and DJ Scream bring you Big Facts. Hey, man, it's all the way up. Ladies and gentlemen. That merch in. Yes. Yeah, that's right. www.bigfactspod.com. Yeah. With the real ones one time. Y'all come get y'all some of this merch, man. Bigfactspod.com. Let's get it. Get that merch right now. Shop with us. It's all the way up. Big Fat Merch. It's going down. Visit the new website today. www.bigfactspod.com. Visit now.